YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna take take you around this um, uh, Chevrolet Astro van. Um, uh, first, we'll take a look at the underside since I also don't know what scale it is. Um, does it say anything? Hold on. Um. Um, as you can see, there does say 124 scale, 2001 Chevrolet Astro van. Here's under license, and this is actually from Jada Toys. Have you ever heard about that? Make all, I, I believe they make all kind of uh, models like this, this one, kind of like customized all around. And uh, as you can see, I'm for, before I get in, I want to mention that. This uh, rear piece is broken. I can just kind of stick that in a little bit more, and it kind of fits. And then the rear doors are missing, I guess. But they do kind of fold outwards, which I'm gonna focus more about later on. Um, but first, we're gonna kind of look at the paint, and the paint isn't isn't bad, but you cannot really say it's perfect. Um, um, for instance, um, here's a used, um, uh, cinema movie ticket, I should say. Um, in person, I can kind of see, um, the lettering, every kind of single word. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> you can also see in the camera, you can you can barely see them, so it's pretty good as well to paint. It's kind of very kind of glittering, uh, kind of paint, type of paint, and it's got this, it's got a uh, kind of soft rubberized plastic mirror. They should have on both sides, but one of them fell off and gone missing again. Um, I just have these custom chrome rims that you get in those hot rods type of cars like the custom Mustangs and stuff like that. Muscle cars, I, sh I should say. And then the front bumper, it says dub for the license plate, but on um, the bumper, as you can see, that I think they use a different type of paint. It isn't the same kind of paint on here than on the bumper. Uh, kind of chipping everywhere, and then it's kind of like it's, so you can kind of see the, it's kind of like chrome underneath, and then you got this very nice kind of chrome grill with the gold standard gold Chevrolet bow tie. Um, again the underside. Let me bring it around. Some chips. Um, but you do find these kind of common things in these little cars. Um. Uh, this one does roll very freely, and and um, it does have these stylish roof lines. Um, th this one does have tinted windows all around. You can see that. Yep, you can kind of you can barely see it. It's kind of tinted. Windows. I'm not sure about the windshield, and I actually draw a slight outline on the windshield to make it look slightly more realistic. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna color the top as well. Um, these stylish handles, just like from the real model, and got these long brake lights. Um, should have so, a uh, light painted up, up top here as a third brake light, but they didn't have it. So I guess that's that's um, a little exterior overview. 
Um, I actually painted these uh, wipers as well. Um, now they are black instead of blue, like the exterior paint. And um, for the features, I do have a door opening. And you see that. And the interior, as you can see, all the full gauges, the chrome steering wheel. Um, you can see that the uh, gray seats. They have they're a slightly different pattern on each seat. Oh, pretend to be leather. Kind of folds inside and, and those little things you kind of see. They have all slightly randomized, but more or less the same. Um, but um, gray dash. You can see the middle there. The center console is pretty much the same as the real model. You got full gauges. I think I mentioned that, but pedals. I slowly painted there here, and not very detailly, but whatever. Um, the interior. So it's kind of two-tone black and gray interior, I suppose. And then you get door panels as well. They're very, very, very kind of nice. Um, very detailed. Again, this is very, um, kind of like a replica of the real model because it's really real. Um, it has full seats at the back as well. Um, slightly higher, uh, rear seats, but, um, the front and the mid seats, they're pretty much the same. Except uh, it's got the middle seat. Um, so I'll bring you around to the passenger side. So pretty much the same. You got the door panels, um, the seats, gray seats, and I guess that's a glove box. And if you look closer in person, oh, you can kind of see that it's kind of like a leather type of uh, sculpting on the on the uh, dash too so it's pretty re uh, nicely detailed and again that's door panels but um unfortunately the rear mid door cannot be opened like a sliding door uh, uh coming to the back um you got Again, this door that you suppose to can be open like that, and you have the doors under here open like this separately. Um, and then I painted the uh, little wiper black, the little handle. Uh, it says dub as well on the rear window. And then you got a kind of custom um, set of speakers at the rear. I think these are subwoofers, um, but no branding, of course. Um, my personal favorite, um, I'm, I don't like to share about, maybe Bose and Mark Levinson, JBL, these three, I guess. Um, so it's really kind of nice. I love the chrome rims, actually, and the, uh, underlining is just magnificent. It's a van, you know, and it's got so much styling you get out of it. So, um, again, it rolls very nicely. Um, a hood line as well. So, again, styling. It has a slightly more commanding presence, um, as more than its real, uh, self the Astro van because these so what what I hate about these things about the lights is that they kinda have a little piece inside to hold them and there's a little back black dots. And I really kinda hate that. It changes the look um of the car. But nevertheless this have is quite reflective those little um cr uh transparent pieces. Um some nice clarity as well. Um, again, very stylish. Very nice looking van, kind of sloping 
in the front. And I kind of like how they manage the bumper to kind of swoop up upwards. Makes it kind of look more sporty, I guess. Um, the underside looks very nice as well. As you see. Um, since I have the bumper missing, I forgot to mention, you can slightly see the spare wheel. Um, looks fairly nice. Um, these stylish, um, wide and thin sport tires. And, and take you around the underside as well. It's fairly nice like detailing. You see the whole kind of frame rails around. Um, the exhaust comes out here. Diff differential right here. The drive shaft. I'm gonna get another differential. Again, the spare wheel. So. Thanks for watching um, the video review of this little uh, 124th scale Chevrolet Astro Van by Jada Toys. Um, please stay tuned for more. There's a lot more to came from. And please subscribe. Thank you.